All right, welcome everybody for another episode of Modern Wong Chat. Um, I am not traveling this week, so I'm actually pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say well rested. I had four hours sleep, but I'm glad to be here. Uh, tonight joining us, we do have GB, and she is a ASMR YouTuber, a cosplayer. Uh, well, she's not gonna admit it, but I think she's a great cosplayer. But <laughs> she's also uh, does a lot of different things. Uh, gamer, streamer, and everything. So let me go ahead and welcome her. All right, let's see. Oh, hello there, GB. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh, hello, hello. No, thanks for being here. You know, I again, I still, I was still nervous, even though everyone, five seconds before the stream, I was like, it is GB, right? It's like, yes. Not GB. <laughs> so wait, hold on. Is there like a origin for that name? Different than. Oh, I'm sorry. That's weird. That's weird. Try again. Hello, chat. Oh, there you are. Okay, chat, yeah. You're the best. For some reason, we didn't have you for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, at least thank you, chats. If you weren't there yeah, here, like I wouldn't know. So, um, sorry. We're saying, um, how did you got come about have the name? GB. Um, it's actually what I'm called like in real life. So a lot of people are like, oh, that's like a username. And I'm like, no, no, it's like actually like my name, like what I'm called. Actually, like, my, my name. Like my mom calls me GB. And people are like, oh, that makes more sense now. So um, so yeah. So it wasn't so what, hard to come it wasn't hard to come up with it. <laughs> what else do they have called you wrong then? Is Gibby the I'm I'm gonna guess Gibby is the most common one? They call me Gibby and yeah, Jibby. Jibby, I get Jibby a lot. Jibby and Gibby. And I'm like, there's no, there's not two Bs. I don't really know what you're trying to say. I understand that maybe you wouldn't necessarily say GB at first. Uh huh. I sometimes just need to spell it. I'm like, no, no, it's like the letters G and B. And they're like, oh, Gibby. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like BG, but backward. Yeah. Oh. And then still like, oh, so Gibby. No. Gibby, Gibby like Chibi. Yeah. But people uh, say Chibi all the time too. So I thought it has to do with the anime. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's just a, a nice coincidence. That's good. Uh, so, okay, so even earlier I was also saying like, you know, this is going to be an exciting podcast because I personally have a lot of questions and a lot of things I'm very interested in, uh, of course, of what you do. And I... So for those people who are not too familiar with you, would you mind? I'm sure the people here are already very familiar who you are. But if they're not familiar with who you are, can you give me just a quick like five seconds? Mm -hmm. like, yep. elevator so peach. I, my main job is I'm an ASMR YouTuber. So I do ASMR videos and they range from role play. So you'll see me incorporate cosplay in there a lot, which is like one of my biggest hobbies um, and tapping and just like whispering. So Kind of like the more typical at least like now people understand what asmr is so i don't have to like launch into a 10 minute thing explaining what it is but essentially they it's like a pretty um new form of sleep aid stress aid meditation um people watch it to get tingles in their head like i get the tingles some people don't get it i mm. get them and uh that's what i do like all the time is make i make three videos a week on youtube and then everything else is extra so all my cosplaying is just one of my favorite things to do i have a second channel where we run a new anime club we watch a new anime every two weeks together um and i just yeah i'm just all over the internet man i don't leave my computer that's what I like. That's great. With the uh, coronavirus going on, you just can stay at home. You'll be mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> that's right. I'm like, I'm ready to never, ever leave my house. You know, that's, like that's that just scary. That is scary. Like, especially now, like, we'll see. I mean, mostly the scariest thing is that there is not enough toilet paper to buy. Dude, two weeks ago, <laughs> I ran out of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. So and I'm like, good, great. So good thing is that like, let's see. I go to a lot of gaming events. And even before the whole coronavirus thing, they gave me a bunch for different stuff. You know, thank you, Look Tiny Bill, that. Xbox, you know, Dang. Elgato. Yeah, How good stuff. How much you selling that for? I'm going to come pick it up. Dude, I'll be rich by now, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to exchange them for Ferraris now, you know. Um, we also have stock up on tissue. Like, not, not that I stock mm -hmm. up. I had tissue like a long time ago. It's not like I'm mm -hmm. stocking up. Because we just moved in less than half a year ago with my housemate. 
So it's just three houses combined. We actually not fully unpack yet. I feel like by the time we decide to move out, we'll be fully unpacked. Oh my god, of course. Then we'll pack again. Of course, always. We Dude, have so always, many whenever things. Whenever I move in, I like take like the two weeks to like unpack fully. I don't do anything else but unpack. I hate living in a house. See, that's, like I I, I made a mistake. Uh, I'm not sure it's a common mistake, but you know, I'm I'm in charge of a lot of the house stuff, like water, electricity, and gas. But one thing I messed up is that I got internet so fast for the oh, house because yeah. we all need yeah. internet. Well, that's as good, soon right? as we got internet. The productivity went completely down, like <laughs> yeah. completely. That's okay. I sat at my computer first too, every time. Yeah. yeah, it was, oh man, it was horrible. Uh, So we're still technically unpacking. So last night I wasn't exactly doing spring cleaning. I was just still unpacking. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you anyway. <laughs> okay, so uh, ASMR, did you know what it was before you got started? Or like, how did you discover it? It was on YouTube for a long time. So when I was, it was, I think it was like 2010, it must have been. I was a sophomore in high school. I started watching it on YouTube, but it was like super small. So mm. I used to watch like videos all the time just to like fall asleep because I'm the type of person who's like, if I'm in bed and I'm trying to fall asleep, I have like a million freaking like things running through my head and I'm so anxious and I'm like, this is it. Like I'm having an existential crisis and it's 2 a.m. So I'm like, all right, I pull out my phone and I like watch YouTube videos, right? Mm -hmm. So I would watch videos that were like kind of on the quieter side or like videos that just like made like felt nice. So I would watch like makeup tutorials or like arts and crafts videos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then I started watching like massage videos. So like you could like vicariously like watch somebody else get a massage and it was nice. Mm -hmm. So I think in one of those videos, it must have said like in the comment section, like this is ASMR. And I was like, what the hell is that? Mm -hmm. And I looked it up and I was like, oh my God, I have this. I have ASMR, like the tingles. Mm -hmm. I, I never knew that it was like a concept. Like I never knew how to describe it to myself. So then I started looking up ASMR videos on YouTube and it was actually called like the Whisper Community back then. Mm. And I watched all those. And people like, you, they used to not show their face. They would like really, they'd whisper, they'd soft speak and just like do nice sounds. So I think it's, yeah. there's a common between like, because uh, I do a lot of stuff in the cosplay scene. Um, not that you, not, not sure you know, but <laughs> but I feel like... Yeah, tell the, <laughs> tell the chat. Who are you, Martin? <laughs> so I feel like there's a lot of uh, similarity between like cosplay and ASMR in a way that it wasn't really well known. But mm -hmm. now it's like you can say it and everyone's like, oh yeah, I know what that is, you know. And people even, go so hard. Yeah. And even if they don't know, they know someone that does like related yes. to that in some mm -hmm. sense. And also, like, back then, I'm sure it still does, but, like, for both communities, that people might think it's a weird sex thing. Yeah. But, yeah. It, it's very, it, there's a lot of overlap. And I mm -hmm. think, like, it makes sense that a lot of, like, ASMR people also love anime and cosplay and things because, like, they're not really afraid to enjoy things that they like and, like, worry about if it's popular or not, mm -hmm. you know? And it's becoming yeah. a lot bigger, and that's great. But, like, yeah, cosplay has come an insane way even in just yes. like the five or so years that I've been cosplaying, like let alone the last like 10 or 20. Yeah, like, so I'm glad, like I'm like, cause I get in Uber and Lyft all the time and someone, I'll be like, oh, what you do? What you doing in town? You know, from the airport I side. I always lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm here for do you, do you tell them you're a cosplay photographer? I t so, so saying a photographer is easy, but then I try to ease into it to see where they are. Because like, oh yeah, I'm a photographer. And then they're like, oh, you're here uh, for a photo shoot? So like, well, I'm here for an event and see what they say. Because if uh -huh. they're in the area, they'll be like, oh, for the convention, huh? like the gaming convention, or like, oh, the cosplay or anime conventions. So like, okay, you, you know what then I'm talking about. Go. Great, go. you know. Sometimes yeah. they'll go full on telling, oh yeah, I love Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> and But sometimes they have no idea at all. So I have to explain to uh -huh. them. Yeah, it's not just a community. Now it's, it's even like an industry, you know? Oh, yeah. And it's, it's crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. Wait, are there like um, ASMR conventions? Not yet. It's still too small. I think, that start there one. Will, I think there would be one. Running a convention's got to be like the hardest thing to take on. It is kind of stressful. There's a lot going on at like, the would convention. You, would you run your own convention? So everyone that's been to conventions has that idea run their head. Everybody right. has an idea. Go through the like, like, I'll just, I'll so, just, I'll just start my own convention. Like, yeah, exactly. No. no, yeah, like I, I thought it would be. I thought about it, but I have seen how many things can go wrong. I mean, so I the next Tanacon, like them. <laughs> don't worry, I'm making sure I have a lot of uh, pool. Oh, what's that? Uh, the 
Tumblr convention. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, <laughs> Are you talking about the one with the 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 baby K- kitty poo? Yeah, with the balls. What is this called? <laughs> wasn't that was that Tumblr con? I thought it was. It's not technically a Tumblr con, but it's really known for Tumblr. Um, I guess user or like you know attendee. Dash so, con. It Dash was for, con. It was for My Little Pony, wasn't it? I, oh, maybe it was also for Isn't My Little Pony. Isn't that what it is? Like Rainbow Dash? Let me know. Maybe. Let me know, chat. That's what they're saying. Yeah, and you get like extra 10 minutes at the uh, kiddie pool. <laughs> the fall. Yeah, I have no idea. If like somebody approached me and they're like, hey, I have all this experience running a convention. I'd love to do an ASMR convention. I'd be like, sure, I would love to help. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if they do come up to you and say that, just keep this, I would say slow down making sure they know what they're doing because I, I have seen so many convention fail so many that's what I, I think i would have to i really wanted to just like get creators like asmr uh-huh. creators together first so even, that's how a lot of conventions started they started yeah. really small like even comic-con yeah. it was just one ho- well maybe it was garage but then it was one hotel lobby like a right. little room conference room and then now it becomes san diego comic-con which sell out yeah. every year and it's like gigantic it's- but yeah, so wait. You what's do your it. favorite convention? Ooh, do you have one? So, I think on the East Coast, I like KasuCon, which we just mm-hmm. passed. It was in February. February. Um, because it's very pretty, you know, white marble. Like but it's so cold. But you stay inside; it's fine. And Not then you're like cosplayer. I have to stay inside the hotel next time. I was in like a neighboring hotel, and I had to like walk over, and I was just like. It's only like one street over, but still. But yeah, I was at the Gaylord Hotel. Pictures and stuff. I'm like, mm. Mm, Yeah, sometimes warm, sometimes cold. This year was okay. It didn't snow, so it was all right. Uh, And then on the west coast, on our side, I think Fanime. Do you think they're gonna shut it down this year? It's hard to say. So I don't think conventions or events are shutting down because they well they might fear of an outbreak, but I think the biggest fear is that. They don't want to be the first event that say, "Oh no, we have that virus in <laughs> at our event." This yeah, Corona Con. Like yep. I know cosplayers, they're gonna just Corona Con mm-hmm. twenty twenty, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" And I also yep. feel like people will cancel on their own anyway. But just a convention is a terrible idea in general right now because it's literally taking people from all over and shoving them in a in a room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, so, that's pretty dumb. Luckily, my immune system is pretty good. Like, is it? I go to so many conventions, like a year. Like you don't get the con crud. No, like I, my friends are surprised when they don't get sick. I am surprised when <laughs> I do get sick. I travel to about average conventions every other week on average. That's, you know, that's fucking crazy. So, do you touch you, your face a lot? See, I don't think so. But everyone say they don't. But as soon as you say that, now I feel I like. Don't. I Everyone really in don't. chat is like, like hey, hair. don't touch your face. Now everyone's like, okay, I'm just gonna touch my face. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And now you're all gonna touch it. But like, I I'm- never touch my mouth. I never touch my eyes. I'm like, I've always been kind of a germaphobe though. So I'm like, I'm ready. Do you not, <laughs> what if someone, I feel like the more they bring up, the more I want to, because now it's like, my nose is itchy. Now it's like, I wanna, you know. Yeah, but you can just it. like, you know. I mean, it's about the same. A little something. Do you know so uh, like my my friend we were out and we were like touching everything and we were like literally like at like thrift stores and whatever and she goes in the car like just wipes her face i'm like what what is wrong <laughs> with you <laughs> so i'm like don't touch your face she's like relax relax like, you know hey, uh is- random side notes because i was saying like what if your nose scratch uh itchy yeah yeah uh space suit in space they have mm-hmm. a little thing that let you scratch your nose Cause you can't do it when you're wearing a helmet, you know, in space. You can be like, let me it's just like, take this like off. A windshield wiper, like I in the. I think so. I don't remember, but yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Cause I that's a good point. Cause like, once you're in space, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on the moon. So like, what should we do? Well, my nose itchy, so um, I guess I'm just gonna. Would you go into anything. space? I would not. You couldn't pay me. Ooh. Would I you think, go? I mean, I'm gonna host you real quick. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we got one viewers yes <laughs> for now but no uh i think so i think i would go into space would you wait wait why not no. you said no space is space scares me i can't even look at the stars like i okay. can't even stargaze deep sea or space if you have to pick one like what are we doing like if you have to force you to go to one would you still pick deep water sea or space Probably deep sea because I'm still like I'm close, you know. Uh-huh. I'm on Earth. I'm here. 
It would probably Why? be less Why magnificent. Not space? Because so much can go wrong. I guess. Yeah. If it was guaranteed safety on both of them, I'd pick space. Okay. Okay. Fair. Does fair. that make sense? You know? Yeah. But I'm like, mm-mm. Space just ain't right yet. <laughs> Someone in chat is like, we found her phobia. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's space. <laughs> like, e like the concept of eternity. Like, that's like my biggest phobia. In, have you seen, uh, what's that one movie with... Um, Are you about to... <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Are you about to um, scare me? No, no. No, not really scared. I mean, if you get scared, that's <laughs> your, your own fault. You know, that's not on me. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Uh, but... He or to start drifting out of space and he can't save himself with a uh, Sandra bullet. Gravity. Is it gravity? I think it's gravity. I yeah. didn't see it. I yeah. saw Interstellar and that was enough. Interstellar was, enough yeah, it was fun. It was very good, Murder. but it was very stressful. It is. Uh, really heartbreaking. But no, but Sam's similar. Yeah, gravity, I believe. Um, I forgot what's the actor name, the guy. Uh, yeah, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, good looking guy. Um, George Clooney? Yes. Is it him? You know, I you saw the movie, haven't gravity? you? Gravity? <laughs> I didn't see it. No, you're right. Gravity. It is Clooney. Yeah. I just looked up Gravity and it's just telling me what Gravity is. <laughs> gravity movie. 9.8 meter per second. Uh, yeah. George but no, Clooney, there you go. Yeah. There's one part in the uh, movie where he has to let go and he just drifts into space forever because that's, that's the what only happens. solution. Yeah. Sorry, that, sorry, how, what do you mean it. only solution? What do you mean only solution? Well, how is that the only solution? What happened? No, well, he just a movie. lost in space forever because he can't do anything about it. Because in space, you can't like grab something. Like you can throw something that might help, but he got nothing on him, so he can't. You know. See, that's traumatizing. Himself. That yeah. happened in JoJo too, though. <laughs> Joseph punches a guy into space. <laughs> he can't. The 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 antagonist can't die, so he punches him into space, and then he freezes in space and just floats around forever. But that's worse because he can't die, so he oh. literally like floats around forever. At least George Clooney will go down in like seven days from dehydration. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, damn, damn, JoJo, that is harsh. JoJo has some dark shit. Uh, it really does. It's disgusting. Like I'm like, why do I love this show? And then I'm like, okay, I only watched the first four seasons. I think part four. Yeah, the uh, same with me. I I did part four, and then I'm reading part six, so I have to actually like go back and watch part five. Yeah, I like, I don't know. The, as soon as they introduced the whole stand thing, it kind of lost me. Not, not think, lost me, but then like, it actually got better. Okay, no, because the reason is that because I love, I forgot which joke. I think it's Joseph so much. Yeah. Where it was like you know learning yeah. the fighting stuff with Lisa. So Lisa. It was so good. And then it becomes irrelevant. It's and literally then, yeah, irrelevant. And they then I nerfed the heck <laughs> out of him. <laughs> I what happened? <laughs> I, I know it's awful. But I thought jo the same thing. Jojo to me is the same thing as Harry Potter. It's kind of like it's the adventure of Theo and just different Jojo in that like timeline to mess him up. Harry Potter, same thing. It's adventure of Voldemort, you know, or what's his name, Thomas or whatever. But it's, okay, okay. Everyone in okay. the different like lifetime or like his dad, everybody's just like messing the whole things up. Like. Dude, man, he, he has a good thing going on. Like Tom Riddle's just really fucking everything up. Got yeah. It. So, I don't know. It's Adventure of Dio and Dio Summer. And Adventure of you know, Voldemort. So, fair so. enough. Fair but enough. Dio's way hotter than Voldemort, so I guess JoJo wins. I mean, I guess I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about having sex with Voldemort, but I, I guess. Now you are. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Dio. I'm like, Dio, Dio is fine. He, he has some... um. No, some, some somebody. Rock, there was something raw where it was like he, him. like Voldemort has a child, and somebody's like impossible because <laughs> he could never. That requires someone to want to have sex with. Yeah, I mean, who Bellatrix would? Oh yeah, I mean she's pretty. Yeah, she's like totally all about it. Oh, she would be like, down with that snake. Yeah, oh. that sexy Voldemort. That's right. You yeah, know, no. Maybe noses aren't your thing. Good question. What if he's a child? I don't. It's one of those questions that, like, no, he can't because no one gonna even. It's, it's like when people s saying, it's like, I, I say I never cheat. The reason is because it required two people to like me at the same time. I can't have one, so I'm. I'll be fine with that part. Part. It's like I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a really good. Uh, you know, it's real good logic there. Airtight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so back to ASMR because oh, <laughs> yeah, I still right, have. Shit. I still have questions. You got into ASMR, what, how many years ago? 
Five, I seven. started my channel in June 2016. So almost four years. Only four years? Oh, yeah. Well, that's when my I started my channel. I'd watched it uh, since 2010. So I'd watched it for six years okay, or so. Watching doesn't count. We're talking about, of course, making things, you know. Okay. I, I, I've been living my life this whole time and I'm still having to figure it out. But, you know, you, you got this ASMR, figure it out. So it's only four years. Yeah. Uh, Wait, so what... So, of course, you enjoyed it. What made you decide to start it? Because like, even I know about it now. I'm not going to go about to start buying some gears and some dual years thing and go like, Yeah. Hi, my name is Martin. Yeah. This is Martin Wong's ASMR. You, you, know? you certainly can. No one's stopping you, man. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What, what made you decide I, to like? I was a film major in college. So, it was the summer before my senior year. So, that's like that year I needed to, to get a job before I graduated. <clears throat> and so I was like working as I did a lot of editing. So I was like working at a, like a commercial editing place. So I was working at an up like a an alcohol startup company. I worked at like all these places. I was nannying, like whatever. I was a full time student, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to go into the workforce, like the normal nine to five workforce. Like it's truly not for me. Mm. And I was like, uh, I watch ASMR every single night, and I know what it is, and I love it, and. I was just, I was really at the right place at the right time. And I knew it. Like I saw it. I was like, mm. nobody is like doing ASMR like in a certain way. And mm -hmm. I could do it in a certain way. <laughs> and like, like there was seriously, there was like almost no ASMR channels. Like I knew every single ASMR channel. And so I was like, all Give right. me some background. Like what was something that exists and what is something that doesn't that you like, I got yeah. this. So there was only one one other channel that did any sort of costume cosplay or like anime videos mm. at all um and i was like i love cosplay so like i can incorporate that like that's something new mm. or like some of the oh. all right luigi there were not a ton of people doing asmr who were posting regularly like now that seems absurd everybody has a posting <laughs> schedule but i didn't know anyone uh -huh. with a posting schedule they would just kind of throw it up when they wanted to um and i was like I don't think that like people really realize that YouTube can be full time if you treat it full time and truly do it full time. Like it can support you if you get the views and you do something that people aren't doing. Mm -hmm. So ASMR was just like a no brainer for me because I, I, I have ASMR. I understand ASMR and I watch so much content that like I knew what I could do well. Like I'm not a very like sound technical person i don't do like the very be like beautiful like two hour long videos of like very <sighs> delicate sounds i'm like people are so good at that and i'm like i know that's not my forte i'm like what's my forte i can interact with the camera and pretend it's a person like <laughs> i did a lot of like acting on screen i did like a lot of again like cosplaying i like the immersion i like the role plays like that's what i like to watch so that's what i wanted to make so i made my own channel <laughs> i so so surprisingly it's actually harder for me to do um YouTube and streaming because um, I'm an extrovert. So I love yeah. talking to people. But when uh -huh. you tell me to like talk to a camera, like it's a person, like it's this one giant eye and has no it's, response. Yeah. And especially, I, like, I like cracking jokes. And then I would say something and it's like, cool, no laugh. <laughs> Ooh, tough crowd. And just me in the camera. You have to think that you're funny. And I think I'm funny, which <laughs> my friends hate. I'm like, I'm hilarious. And they're like, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. <laughs> like, so you do have to have like a semblance of like of confidence that's true but i mean like i used to be so awkward in front of the camera if you watch my old videos i have like my my customer service voice on like my like mm. polite like nervous voice mm -hmm. and like i definitely am like way more relaxed now like just mm. and I there are that. many types of uh asmr right there's some that's like your type is like really quiet type or soft spoken yeah some mine is more, a lot of, yeah some are more like not harsh but like maybe raspberry or something i don't know Everybody has different sound quality. Everyone has different voice quality. So like there's a lot of tiny nuances and that's like when people will find their favorite ASM artists where it's like people are like, hey, appreciate your videos, but like I don't watch mm. them because they're just not for me. I'm like, I get it. Like, mm. like if my voice doesn't do it for you, like there's nothing I can do about that. And it's just like, it's like not personal. And the great thing with uh, YouTube and stuff is that you can also do um, like visual stuff with it too, like, like with light or stuff like that. No. Make it more I always, immersive. Yeah. Yeah. People are like, you, I, I don't understand how you watch ASMR. Don't you listen to it? I'm like, mm -mm. visuals are like literally at least half of it, I think. And so when you first started, so 
you know, like cosplay, right? A lot、yeah. of people when they first started, they don't really want their friends to know about it. Did you <laughs>、yeah. did you get nervous, like like maybe friends or like <laughs> high school friends or something? I'm I'm so like nobody in my life was like surprised. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were only surprised that like people that I was like I was like, well, it's like relaxing, and they're like you, <laughs> like you are re- relaxing people. I'm like yes, I swear. And they're like that. I find that hard to believe because I'm pretty. I'm pretty loud, but like, I've always been super into like dressing up. I was a theater kid. I played a lot of video games. I like was always very like not not shy、mm. with being doing whatever the like whatever I wanted. That's so, great.、It's、yeah,、like、horse girl in class love horse. Like yes, she started、That's、riding、right. horses. Yeah, I was we knew some it. We saw it coming. Semblance of a horse girl, <laughs> but with theater and very and like The Sims and My Chemical Romance. You know, that's awesome.、Uh, <laughs> But okay. Also, what gears do you need for ASMR? What gear? I I know for like in、uh, sorry gear. Yeah, when you first started, I know you don't need anything. You even with your cell phone or with like a mic, you'll be fine. You know, like at all. Luigi, please. I'm on an interview. Come on. Um. Yes. But it, 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 yes, what what is the more high end? Like for example, for camera, I can tell you.、Sure. Yeah, you can use a smartphone, but you can also go to a crazy mirrorless and get an 8K camera that range from zero dollar, not zero dollar, but very low amount to like ten grand, twenty grand, thirty grands. But where's the scale in ASMR? So there's definitely people who have like gear that's better than mine because like I know like my limitations and what I because I do everything myself. I don't have like anybody who helps me. I never like I went to film school, but like I hated operating the camera and stuff like like I could not be. Mm-mm. I don't.、Mm. Mm. So I do. I have a Panasonic. I have a Lumix, like the GH5, the Lumix. Okay. And that was an upgrade for me, so that can shoot. I I changed to sixty frames per second shooting, which was like one of the biggest like upgrades for me, which I think is like an interesting trend that people are doing now because I think it makes it more immersive.、Mm. So anything that shoots sixty frames per second is kind of fun to do. And then I think the lighting was a big one. So、um, <clears throat> being able to control your light and make it look exactly how you want it. So I use LifeX bulbs. I actually don't have them. Here, so like all my videos have been like flat, and I hate it. <laughs> But they like you can control them with an app, like with Wi-Fi.、Mm. You can change them to whatever hue you want. So I have six of them,、mm. and so like I'll change my 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 lighting all the time. And then the the sound you can you can upgrade a lot. A lot of people have been switching to the Rode NT ones, and so I switched to them when I saw that one of my、mm. favorite ASMR people use them. Her name's ASMR Magic, and then I switched to them, and other people switched to that, and everybody's using them. But how do you get a is... referral code? I know I'm so dumb, but like <laughs> whatever.、Um, but so you can have two,、mm. and then like one is set to、oh. like sound as if it's your right ear, and one is set so it's your left ear. So when as you move, you basically set up like a sound area for yourself. Do you、um, like that better or the the one with like two ears looking thing? I personally、better. don't like that one. Why is that? It it ruins the like the bassier quality of people's voice. It makes it sound very high and like tinny. I don't like、mm. it. I have、mm. one and I'm like,、mm. Mm. okay, yeah. But it's just more. I mean, I guess you can edit it, but but I guess but for me, I feel like it's more of the space. You know how you can aware、uh, to move the space from one、yeah. side to the other. I actually haven't even found like I haven't found the prime setup yet. I think I'm still looking. There's honestly, it's the mic stands. I like. There's like none of the mic stands I've bought. I like.、The、How about do you have、way. to pet your room for that? Like yes, so the I sound have, doesn't bounce. I have like a huge fluffy rug. I keep、uh-huh. like、um, I like film in a bedroom on purpose because like a bed will like absorb, absorb a lot、sound. of the sound.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have some like foam panels, but not too, like you don't need too much as long as you have a furnished room and a rug. You're fine. That's my excuse to buy a bunch of body pillows. That's right. I have one in the back. That's from that's from Nips. <laughs> like tw- I need like forty waifus surrounding me. <laughs> Yo, first of all, so I won't feel lonely. No, <laughs> don't tempt me. I won't feel lonely. I won't feel、like、I'm talking to a camera.、Don't、and you know, I'm like, tempt me. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, oh wait,、God. hold on. Oh hold wait,、on. hold on. Come back to、yeah. me. You have a, your own harem. Yeah,、oh. yeah. I'm getting there. I'm see. I'm gonna start my own ASMR channel. <laughs> But I don't think that exists yet. See, you're like、yeah. you would be filling、Pioneering. a void.、Mm-hmm. You know? People need it. And so, so you've only been what four, five years. Um, how big is your channel now? 
I just hit two and a half million subscribers. Whoops. Do you expect that? No. When I started, nobody had ever even hit a million. So like mm. when that happened, that was such a big deal. Gentle Whispering hit a million subscribers. She's like an OG. And we were mm. like, oh my God, like ASMR, like as a whole is like growing. And so now there's a ton of people with, with over a million subscribers. And like just that in, in fact is crazy. So yeah, I hit 2.5 million. Excuse my ignorance, but like how big is the scale? Like who are the biggest one? Are you the biggest one or like where, where are we looking at? So if you don't count the mukbang channels so it's like uh -huh. you know the youtube channels where it's like it's like from here down you just see their mouth and they like just eat piles of food in front of them uh -huh. like that's their channel they do that like every day wow um, and that's like their channel but a lot of them have like asmr in their channel name so it's like uh -huh. it's just to I'm grab like, more people is it asmr mm. i don't know i think <laughs> it's like i think it's like a, a second cousin of asmr Maybe a mm. cousin, but if you don't count the mukbang channels, because some of those have like 7 million subscribers or so, I think I have the most subscribers, Ooh. which is kind I, of crazy. I hey mean, that must be crazy to imagine that as your full time job. It like, is every day. YouTube, doing it's ASMR. become my life. It's literally my life. But I think I what's yeah. great, I actually did advise some friends to do ASMR or not because, you know, <clears throat> they sound great or like I feel like they have the voice or talents for it but it's the replay value you know mm -hmm. people you, love my older videos like they have they pick a favorite and they'll go back yeah to it yeah I mean, like i just imagine how many people you can upset if you just remove a video i know i actually almost removed a video like today because i was like i hate this video like, it's so embarrassing and then i'm like i won't i'll just leave it there because like people probably don't care well, don't tell people which one it is it. Cause I know gonna... I'm not going to. Guess they're gonna... <laughs> you guys can all just guess which one it was. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I think I I would be worried if I if I first started. It's like, do you get like random stalker then? It's actually way less than you think. Um, some people are like, oh, you know, you whisper into a camera, like you must get a lot of weirdos. Mm -hmm. I'm like. I don't think more than the average like internet personality. Mm. I think that anybody like I, I'm I'm friends with some of just like like dude gamers and they're like I have stalkers. And I'm like mm. you know what happens? I think the what deters people is one I really don't have any way to be contacted. Mm. Uh, like all my DMs are turned off like things like that just because like that was an issue for a while. And then two, it's like weird is as I've gotten bigger, I've gotten less. Huh. And I think it's because like they see the number and they're like, well, she won't see my message. So I'm going to go harass someone else instead. <laughs> so they all like the smaller ASMR artists, like they get preyed on all the time. Like you'll see it in their comment section because like there's a way more likely chance that they'll see it, if that makes sense. So the but secret I, yeah. to not get harassed is to get internet famous. Got it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's I mean, the plan, I still, guys. I still get some weird, weird, weird messages, but um. It's yeah, okay. I shared I mean, with you last good. time too. Last time we hung out, I, I get some dick pic here and there. You get some. I think you probably get more than I do. I might get more dick pics than you do. I yeah. really don't get that many. I like. Yeah. I don't know just because, like, I mean, like, you're posting like, like, I don't know. Yeah. So. I don't know, but uh, I maybe I just start whispering in my photos. Like instead That's of right. photos, it's just a photos, but with it's actually a video with audio. <laughs> yeah. So then, I mean, especially with my voice, I'd be like. Mm -hmm. Hello, yes. How you like me and the sexy red hair? Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd probably get more. Oh god. Actually, Sorry, some probably. guy just DM me the other day where I was like, oh, I'm you know doing late <clears throat> late night recording, and then you know I'm just doing like a little behind the scene kind of thing on my Instagram story. But yeah. I get hit on by guys. You know yeah. they're like, oh, why so cute? It's like, thank you. But you know, sorry, I don't swing that way. But <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Can't wait for the free drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'd love Thank a you. drink. Thank you so much. Speaking of drink, your shirt. I'm not sure you know. That is a Hong Kong drink. I do. I know, I know it's is... made by Wuji, but yeah. Yeah. I I don't think I've ever had it. Really? Uh, you can buy a pack of them at almost any Chinese market for like three bucks. Like I exactly try not like to that. wander in there because I'll die from sesame poisoning. Oh, that's true. I mean, either that or coronavirus, but maybe sesame first. No, sesame is way more dangerous. I know. I kind of want to try just because I have the shirt. I'm like, I feel like a fraud if I don't, you know. So 
All I have to do is throw you into space and surround you by sesame. God and you, damn it. You'll be stuck there forever. <laughs> That's how you boss battle me. It's over. No, get- somebody asked in chat if these tattoos are real. These are from a video I just did. Um, it was like an ASMR video where I tra- like I did tattoo tracing. And so I put on a bunch of fake tattoos, but they last for like a week. So Tattoo I'm st- tracing. I'm stuck with them now. How does that work? That. So, so it's like you get the camera, like you zoom it in closer. And I had a brush, like a like a makeup brush. Uh-huh. And I like traced over the tattoo and like talked about it. And people have done them online. It's like I, I watch them all the time. They're so relaxing. And I'm like, oh, I love this. So I was like, so does it make a sound? Tattoos. The brush on the skin, does it make a sound? A little bit, yeah. And then when you like go like this, but that's what I'm saying, where it doesn't always have to be like audio. Like just oh. watching somebody do it is like relaxing. And then I'm whispering, talking about it. So that one's coming. Yeah, I have a real tattoo, but that's here. That's up here. Do you have any uh, like, uh, I don't know, cousin, sibling, or like niece or nephews? Because I was mm-hmm. just thinking, now you have so many like tattoos. Yeah. Just give them color pencil. They're just gonna like. I know. Uh, Get people color to color them in before like, these fade. Yeah. That'd be so. Funny. I almost say M Frank. But I mean Lisa Frank. It like the color. Lisa Frank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> Yeah, Lisa Frank it so it had all kind of colors. Yeah. Yeah. I have a I have a lot of cousins. So but they're all kind of old. Like they're all like mm. my age. Yeah, they'll still do it probably. Make a drinking game. Do you have tattoos? I don't. I have a commitment issue. Hence okay. I'm single. But also <laughs> I have commitment issue. So I don't know. I fear of getting one. That's okay. Uh, I feel like every photographer has like a camera. See, I see. I was like, like, "That's so cliche." Yeah, lags. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, um, every time I I made a video about this too. Every time a photographer that has a aperture logo as a watermark, I'm like, "Please, like, come on." And then they're like, "Well, it's so hard." Yeah. I'm sure they just started because they all have that. I like. Yeah. Hmm. And then they go from that to like a signature one, you know, which is like a font, most likely. And then okay. So it, you can see the trend. Like after a while, I was like, ah, I see where you're in photography. Not by your photos, but by your watermark. By your literal logo. Oh, babies. I know. With 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 ASMR, it's, it's like, okay, you either do headphones, which is mine. Mm-hmm. I have like GB, but like the two eyes are like headphones connected. Mm. I'm like, you have headphones, a microphone, or like sound waves. I'm oh. like, those are your only options, truly. Yeah. yeah. But now you have like a, what, a cute face one? No. That's your. I have the Z, the Z's logo, which is like I really like the Z because it's like three little Z's like sleeping. Ah. So, um, but the Z's logo is like it looks like a bed, but it's like shaped like a Z. I'm like, oh damn! All right, we snapped. All right, all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, do you get people recognize you in public ever? Well, do, or they like yeah. they like do that thing where they well two things. Of course, if they know you and we're excited, they'll say hi. Mm-hmm. But do, do you also get that look where they look at you and say, "I think I know her, but I'm not." sure yeah. and then i like, try to come but not and waiting for you to do something about it and you're like what do you oh want me to do God. man like i'm not gonna be like hi i'm gb i'm the asm <laughs> girl nice to hi, meet you yes. <laughs> and then it's like oh my god and then, there's like a lot of okay so either people will i think one now that i've changed my hair people are more confident that it's me so they'll come up to me they're like mm. i know it's you because like like your hair is very distinct your hair said that but, kiss chocolate by the way yeah right thank you the new chocolate my hair one? is like no. dessert yeah. dessert like yeah. <laughs> but but um people will usually open with like you look like a youtuber and i'm like i am a youtuber (laughs) like they don't they don't want to be like are you gb they say like you look you look like somebody i watch on youtube i'm like that's crazy (laughs) that's so crazy because i also do youtube and they're like gb oh my god (laughs) or they're like giving me the look where it's like in public Mm -hmm. where it's like they're like you know, and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, hi. And they're like, can you reach that on the shelf for me? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I never know. I never know. It's hard. And like, and it'll catch me at the most random time. Like, I think I'm safe. And then like, bam, somebody knows me. But it's, that everyone's been very nice. Good, good. I know you do your own ASM ch- our channel and you have a second channel and you stream. Mm-hmm. And I know when I saw you last time and the first time I was like, in my head, I know it would not make any sense at all. You, you would talk like the way in ASMR. But still in my head, it's like, what if she does? <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, some people have very naturally like nice voices. And so like because of their nice voice, people tell them that they should do ASMR. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I was not one of those people. 
I'm like, I hope somebody finds my voice relaxing. But like, yeah, I mean, I get into the zone and I can I can very much like soft speak. Like huh. this. I'll get into the zone, but like, no, that's like the one thing that people always say. They're like your voice. I'm like, hello. <laughs> I know. I, know. I, I want. I, do you get people ask you to do it though in public? Like where they're like, "Oh my god, can you do the thing?" Never, not once. Oh. Would you do I it? No, maybe. Would it be weird? I don't know. If people ask you to whisper in their ear, would you do it? <laughs> I'm like, I'm off duty. This is this is the next gig. Either in Vegas <laughs> or in a con. This could be a convention for five bucks. Spend five if bucks. I was at a convention, bring a year. I definitely went at a convention or like a meetup or something where it's like, you know, I'm going to be there, you know, it's going like, to be like I, I quite a meetup, like the ASMR convention. It's going to be the whole like, you, you know, get, you like, would think you all get in line. <laughs> These creators, I've met a lot of ASMR creators and we're all freaking crazy. Oh, my God. It's great. Except you guys cannot drink too much then because it might hurt your voice the next day. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah right, right. Maybe <laughs> the last day. <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. You start a convention then. I don't know, man. I gotta wait for the coronavirus to settle down. That's true. I was supposed to meet up with a bunch of ASMR people and and we had to cancel because of it. I was like, I can't oh. ask you guys to travel. Yeah. But you did start a app, right? A phone. A mm -hmm. smartphone app. Tell me about yeah. it. Yeah. So that's called Z's and it was basically just because it. It was like Z E E S. So it's like the concept okay. is like Z's like yeah, whatever but it's yeah. like but basically it, it we made it because there was like a huge demonetization problem a while back and i think that a lot of people still struggle with it mm. where youtube was just like it did not like asmr mm. so you'd like upload your video you'd make it live and then they would demonetize it and so like, Why? Then you'd especially it. it's not sexual they'd say it's sexual <clears throat> so like you wouldn't you couldn't get any help and if you got an answer they would just tell you to like look at the community guidelines and the community guidelines are only like four guidelines long and it's like no violence no like death no like sex and like no whatever and i'm like okay so it's obviously like they are saying that it's sexual mm. which is like it was very frustrating because you know most of the time like it was really really like not 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 the case in, in any sense like i would get the weirdest videos demonetized and just like we realized that like the word role play was getting flagged. So like, I still don't use the word role play in any of my titles and stuff, but they won't tell you anything because they don't want you to skirt around the rules, mm. I guess. But anyway, like everybody's videos are getting demonetized. YouTube was being terrible. Like we were all kind of like panicking a little bit. And I was like, this is just ridiculous that we can't control our own content. We have really no other place to put it. And so I was like, L let me start and and make something where we have somewhere that we can put it and we can do it right and we can do it how we want and have it be about asmr like by people who understand and do asmr mm. so gosh i did not know what i was getting myself into over a year later we launched like z's v1 like it is still like it's still like a baby and um it's still like a brand new app and a new thing that we're working on so my husband ben he's like in charge of like running it essentially because i literally like you said like i'm like i have an asmr channel i have a second channel i have twitch i have a bunch of other things and i'm like mm -hmm. i also can't run an app full time like it's just impossible yeah so ben does that there's 26 of us on there and so we don't use youtube servers at all mm -hmm. we have our own servers so we have to upload all of our stuff there natively so if like if youtube ever goes down like it's on there and we have all like mm -hmm. the all the perks so you can turn your phone off you can download the videos you can search by trigger you can do all those like lovely lovely things and i i post nice. exclusive content on there too so it's just like yeah. i basically made my own ver like version of like a reward or an, an like a functional thing that like i wish that i had so i just mm. made it and i feel like that's how a lot of i mean because i did it for a while too but like i made stuff because i feel like i want it that i would use myself Mm -hmm. like, you thought this was for you? This for me, sucker. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you all just call on my tree. I use these every night. I'm like, dang, I like it. Because yeah. I, I built in what I wanted, you know? That's great. That's, yeah. Yeah, it must be a fun journey. It's definitely, we learned a lot. And I think like there's definitely a long way to go. So we're just, you know, making sure that it's running smoothly now and like learning things. And then hopefully eventually we'll be able to do like a free version and just have like silent ads and stuff like that. So it'll be more mm -hmm. accessible to people. Yeah. I mean, I don't have YouTube red, so I'm glad that I could just turn off my phone. I'll keep it on the screen. 
Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Do you have a Patreon as well? No, I don't do Patreon. You thought about it? I used to. That's how I got like started. And that's how like I went full time was thanks to my patrons. Um, <clears throat> so like I did this thing called the name video. And so people do it a lot now. But I, I that was my one that I can claim that I did that first was I was like, all right, I think like saying somebody's name would be a really good trigger because you're like, you know, when you're in the middle of a room, it's like crowded. But if you mm -hmm. hear Martin, like you'll turn. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Like pick your voice out. It's like our brain responds differently to our own voice. So I was like, oh, I need to like, get people's names in ASMR videos. So I was like, for $2, I'll say your name. Mm. And like, that was the tier. So it was really fun. And I did them for a year. We got up to like a thousand names. And I'm just like sitting there like whispering people's names. And I'm like, all right, after a year, I'm going to retire this. Um, but it, it worked really well. Like I did, I sold custom um, ASMR videos on there. Uh -huh. I did a bunch of those. So I was filming a ton. And uh mm. It was great, but um, eventually I was like, you know what? Like, I can support myself and mm -hmm. I wanted to move on to different things. So, like, something like Z's, where I could, instead of giving people something like whispering their name, I could give them like functions. I'm like, you can turn your phone off, you can download mm -hmm. videos, you can whatever. And I'm like, that just felt better to me, like, more like a product that I could deliver. So, I shut down my Patreon. You know, like a Coke bottles, like Coca Cola bottles, except yeah. instead of writing the name, yeah. you have to I'm find your name. Say your name, yeah. I but bet there's should, a Martin in there somewhere. You should just have it as an archive, you know, just like here, pick your name, and then just like you know, it's like going to a theme park, you know. I wonder if you could like, like ooh, do where's that my like name? Time stamp it, you know, because I I put all the names in the description box every time. You would just have to click through all like, there's like twenty of them or something that you'd have to click through and try to find your name. I bet you could just. Even if you read the dictionary, people would enjoy that. That's not a bad idea. I don't know if that's what read a video. Write that down. Wait, that's yeah. a good video. <laughs> dictionary <laughs> ASMR. I used to read the dictionary as a kid. Yeah? Just yeah. Read the random pages, you know. Ooh, would, would you thought about doing like a, uh, uh, what do you call it, audio book or like, what do you call those? Like, yeah, read books kind of deal? Like, would you? I did one. I did one series I would read like, and it is so hard. I would have to yeah. stop after like 30 minutes every time. I'm like, my voice goes voice acting. so fast. I'm like, I can't imagine, but I did one book called Star Girl and I did, uh -huh. I did that. That's on my YouTube channel in a playlist. It's like all of them. Do you have to do it as your ASMR style or have to do it like normal speaking? Like what, what where is this? I did like soft speaking. Okay. It like kind of borders normal speaking at some points, but it's almost like if, if you're like in a room and you're like trying not to wake somebody up, but you're uh -huh. reading to someone out loud, like that kind of level. Do you do you have to do voices for each character? I did a little bit. Not like, much. Just like I, slight tone shifts. I, I probably remember, could have gone like more, but I didn't. I remember when I was uh, listening to Harry Potter, uh, yeah. like audio book. Yeah. I forgot what's the guy name. Every time he does Hermione, it always get me. <laughs> but Harry, he does it. Harry, yeah. Harry, you guys get this in trouble. <laughs> okay, buddy. I would like to, but I don't know. Like, it's I think it's kind of like iffy to to read people's books. So that's probably the only one I'm gonna do. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. I don't mean. I mean, not like in not not like voluntary, but like I somewhere to hire you. Reading, I'll just start reading fanfic. They get pretty crazy. I know. There are some, well, I wouldn't call it fanfics, more like rumors <laughs> about me. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, the cosplay community was very small and very toxic. I mean, it's still toxic. It's just not small anymore. <laughs> but yeah, there was a lot of uh, fun stories about me that do not make any sense at all. Oh my God. Either, a, yeah, it happens. The bigger it, the community it, gets, it's Yeah, it, it ended with me snorting cocaine on someone's dick. Oh. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting rabbit hole. It's so like, oh, I can't cool. say there's ever been any rumors like that about me. I'm so sorry. It's like, you haven't made it yet, you know? Two two point five millions. I don't know, man. That's nothing. Yeah, have you get kind of crazy? But have you yeah. sucked cocaine? Yeah, it's actually yeah. yeah. I think the story was I sucking cocaine on someone's stick at a lobby because I couldn't a get lobby. a girl. Yeah, I don't know how how that like go from like you know that to that's like that's kind of like how the, it ended. But like, oh, cool. So I'm just like, it, oh. Did, oh, I did. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. good to know because I yes. wasn't aware of that. Thank you. I know, right? Like, oh, good to know. I have such a legacy, you know. I'm I, I'm part of the Illuminati. Oh, great. Yes, oh. I am. Mm-hmm. You need more triangle stuff like all over the room, like this. 
Illuminati ASMR. Ooh, yeah. Inducting you into the society. Great. Guys, I'm in. I feel like a hacker saying, hi, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy, crazy shit that people will say. And it just sucks because like especially like as the community gets bigger and bigger, you know, people will like claim to be like, oh well, I'm part of the community. I'm like, no, no. You're just toxic. Like you're just you mm. just are, you know, you're causing drama for for the sake of causing drama. And I, I see you. I see you. But we've done really well. We've done really well not having drama as a community. I'm very proud how of how do you so I'm sure every community has some, but what would ASMR community toxic like? It's like YouTuber <sighs> toxic? Like what Yeah, it's just like people like spreading rumors about other people or people being mad. There's like a lot of like salty, Stealing followers bitter, kind of salty, bitter people who like say like XYZ doesn't deserve it. Or like, it's a lot of like in like, like people are like literally like middle school fighting, like, and then other people will take sides. But a lot of us were just like, I'm going to pretend this is not happening. I'm not addressing this. So in gaming, that happen a lot, but are people also blaming on sexualizations in ASMR? Like with some people like, oh, she only got popular because, you know, she tried to use a sex appeal rather than, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Some people definitely say that or like dislike other creators because of that. Yeah. It, would, would they be like, because, like, you know, people say fake gamer girl. It's like fake ASMR <laughs> girl a thing. Like there is a lot of people who, uh, especially when we had like a lot of like tense times i guess during like the demonetization when all of our content was being like called sexual by youtube so like the people who did do mm. sexual asmr are i think the worst offenders are the people who were doing it and pretending not to or like it, like you can't do sexual content on on youtube like you of can't. course even if you mm -hmm. want to you can't so like the people who were doing on on youtube um you know like other people would blame them and be like well this person is posting sexual content and they're ruining it for everyone so like people mm. were getting mad yeah. but i was just like listen let people do what they want to do i think like you know you can do that's that's the thing is that like sexual asmr it's like a modifier like asmr and then you can make it sexual if you'd like just like anything uh -huh. like sexy cosplay or whatever you can uh, uh, pikachu sexy like no but can you make a sexy pikachu yes you can um the classic. <laughs> but yeah it's like you don't bring sexy pikachu to school mm, you, like mm -hmm, do it in yeah. like appropriate setting and then you're good to go you know but you and bring I, like, it to tiktok you can well Maybe oh, I was talking to some people at TikTok. <laughs> I'm not sure I brought it up at the last one, but it's funny because um, they shut down people who are doing sexual content if you're yeah. over 18, but they but don't not do under, it because they don't want to claim. Yeah, they don't want to claim that it's sexual. They don't yeah, because they're like, oh, why you take it down? Because it's sexual. Are you sexualizing a minor? Like, uh, yeah. yeah, no, no. So I'm like, yeah. that is that's ass backwards, but like, it's oh my pretty god, pretty ironic. Yeah, that's really ironic. It's like adult content is, you know, sh supposed to shield the kid from adult content. But now it's like, let the kid do adult content because we can't, can't say they're doing can't adult content. Them. Oh my God, bro. Mm -hmm. Have um, you start? Like, have you, do you have a TikTok? I have one. I don't post that much. Are I, you doing normal stuff, streaming stuff, gaming, ASMR? I started with ASMR and then they actually like asked me to be on tiktok you know what i mean like i was mm. approached by tiktok to do like they're like can you post asmr talks tiktoks whatever the talks i was like sure and it was fun but um i just like i literally can't keep up with another platform like that's mm. it like i literally can't like i know that i could scroll for hours on tiktok and i know i could spend hours a day like making them but i'm like oh, man, i have to focus on my youtube channel like i can only do like one major thing at a time how many videos do you make a month YouTube. I do three a week. So depending three on three a week. Three a week. Yeah. On my first channel, on my main Jeez. channel, I do a, a video a week on my second channel. And then I usually like to stream at least twice a week, but that's been that's been low. But I'm Wait, getting so back into it. Do you have a team to help you edit or do you have to edit yourself? I have an editor, thank God. Good. I have an editor for my ASMR channel and I have an editor for my second channel. So do you have like a Oh, I, have, I think you do, right? You have a blooper reel one, right? A blooper reel? Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot. I have another Here. one coming this month because I, oh man, my editor like, is just like, oh, GB. Oh yeah, I told my editor too. It's like, start keeping like- Just keep them. Uh, just keep them because it's going to be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> They're so fun. <laughs> yeah, like, I, man, some of them because for, oh, do, okay. So I want to know too. Do you have to write a script for yours mm -hmm. before you start? 
it totally depends. So like, let's say like I'm doing a video. I just put one up today where it's just like, I bought a box of like these textured, like different fabrics. It's like for babies, but uh -huh. like, it's like these little fabric squares. And so they all make different sounds. So like, I'm just like doing them like around the microphone. <clears throat> I do not need to write a script for that. I need to turn <laughs> on the camera and I'm like, here's my squares and let's like just do sounds, you know? Mm -hmm. So like that doesn't need a script, for example, but anything like it totally depends on what I'm doing. So I'm going to like, I'm going to do like a shoot that's very atypical of me. Like someone else is going to be shooting the camera. Like we're doing like a fairly professional setup and stuff. And so now, now I need to think and prepare like every single tiny detail because other people mm. need to know about it. So I'm like, that's what I've been doing all day is scripting that. Mm -hmm. And if something is like an anime role play, like that's going to take a ton of research and scripting because mm -hmm. now I'm like, if I'm like playing Mikasa from Attack on Titan, like I better know everything that I'm going to tell you about it too. Like you have to be like meticulous about the details and like what she would say and like the details about the world. So that's a lot of writing. That is a lot. So yeah, totally cause, depends. Because like for my video, if I, I usually write a script. Do you? And then I, I do because I... Even though it's not all very technical, I don't want to make my video very technical, but yeah. I want to making sure my points make sense, but also how I, because some of the topic I touch a pretty touchy topic as well. Mm. So I want to make sure that like I'm making, I, I'm editing one yeah. right now or have my team editing one, it's an open letter to photographer about how not to be a creeper and kind of stuff like that, you know, trying to be careful to be like, you know, making sure I'm not saying the wrong thing or making people, making sure people feel, understand what I'm trying to say at least. Right. Like you want to make yeah. sure that you have your points down that you're trying to make. And like, especially, mm -hmm. yeah, if I'm like rambling about something, sometimes like I wish that I would write a script because I get just like all over the place. And there's time that I'm just recording and then I'm like, who the heck wrote this script? I'm like, oh, right. Me. <laughs> yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Me. <laughs> oh, yeah. How, oh, how often do you upload? I, tr I try to do it at least once a week. Uh, but I just started this podcast, so I'm changing yeah. things up a little bit, but if the podcast up, I mean, I'm doing twice a week now, Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Cause I, the, so now my life is like, I'm really liking this. Like just talking to friends. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. But anytime in between, I'm like, all right, from Thursday to Monday, I'm like, there's nothing going on. I should do something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I made it, I made a post on my Facebook the other day saying, what do freelancers do in their free time? They uh -huh. work. <laughs> they work. It's work more. <laughs> yeah. All I do is work, but I don't, How but I like it. I like yeah it exactly life. you know maybe that's why we're doing what we're doing yeah. like tomorrow i'm having i'm not sure i met uh matt before matt, matt. oh yes i saw your post <laughs> yeah so great. uh nips know him uh you know he brought me out to mm -hmm. san diego last um last year uh he's from deviant arts so i'm excited to ask him about that world as well because i know i just want to explore all this different stuff You're so, so cool to be you're learning yeah. so much yeah i'm trying to be a cultural bear without traveling right now because traveling right now is very cheap though however that's right you know? oh no mm -mm. don't leave your house don't leave on a cruise you know get a very cheap cruise you get oh, free God. 14 I days never get out of... baby no don't a, th get a, a three day cruise become a 17 day cruise i can't imagine instantly. that they're, they're making people like work on the cruise oh definitely not it's really boring it's like i feel like it's a prison I think. Right. On the like sea. Like a literal prison on the sea. Yeah. Like, like it's imagine worse because I work and then you have to stay on a fucking boat. I have, I get seasick, even giant boat. Oh, I don't, I don't know because I never put myself on a. Mm -mm. So like, I can't imagine like being stuck in a, on a no, boat for 14 no. days. Absolutely like, not. Every day it's like, how are you doing, honey? It's like, not sick yet, but uh, you know, <sighs> just a little rocking left and right. I mean, of course it doesn't rock that bad, but like, I can still feel it. I tried to, it you know me like yeah i can yeah. i can take on this like i can do this after the like second third day i'm like okay you know what just give me the pills fuck it like oh my it's god it's not worth it yeah just take the pills if you yes, if you ever yeah, go on a boat you get seasick just take the pill it's not it's there's no human that it just is use your brain trying to making sure that it's the same thing uh with drinking you know it's that your mm -hmm. your brain feel like there's something poisoning you that's why you're not feeling right that's why they want you to throw up over inside you that's I'm not going to cruise. I'm done. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> so yeah, so I do make, um, try to make at least one video a week on top of my podcast ones. Very nice. So, I do have people that edit for me. So that's, uh, that's much better now. So 
Your YouTube channel is very vibrant. I'm looking at it. Try to add some colors in it. You know, I'm usually very vibrant. Uh, you never met me at conventions. Let me, let me show you. I know, I'm like running away from my own podcast. Bye. Hey, chat. What's going on, guys? Did you miss me? All right, I'm back. So, normally when I go to conventions, I, first of all, my photos are very colorful. And second of all, when I go to conventions, I'm making sure people can relate to that or know who I am. So, I wear very colorful pants. <laughs> Oh my god! These are in my suitcase at those all times. Backdrops. Those are literally no. Pants. And this, I have a box, a box full of different color pants. You know. Okay, that's good to know. Look for the pants. Yeah. So, now I can't look for the long hair. I have to look for the. pants. I know. So you lose that. So yeah. But, <laughs> geez, uh, yes, three videos a week. How and how you come up with the ideas? It's my full time job. You? Like I seriously like this. Seriously, seriously, true. seriously, what I do. I, I mean, like, I've made over 530 videos, I think. I have, like, some mm -hmm. obs obscene amount of videos. But you get, you certainly get used to it. And it becomes sort of, like, a formula. And, like, I know what I'm getting myself into most of the time when I, like, I'm scheduling my videos. So I already know everything I'm shooting in March. I'm almost done shooting all my March videos. And mm -hmm. so, like, now I'll start planning April and, like, I'll know exactly what I want to shoot when. And so, like, I can see when it's all, like, laid out on a, on a calendar, like, oh, like, I've done this type of video too recently. So let me, like, move that mm -hmm. there. And so, like, I get, like, a variety of stuff. And, you know, people request videos. I see things that inspire me. Like, I do sequels to old videos. I just, like, randomly think of things. And it just all comes together. It's a hard to come time, up with new ideas. No. Most of the time, I feel like I wish I could film more. Or like, That's I wish nice. I had time to do more because yeah. it, it's really like you can do so much with ASMR. It's so awesome. That's great. Uh, and people will like like the same thing over and over again. And they're like, I'll do like a tapping video and they like do it again. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sure. Sounds fun to me. So like there's like a mix between trying new things and like like really like the tried and true like favorites. It feels like a magician, you know, like that was cool. Now do it again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Cool, cool. Like, again. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it's very is, fun. I'm sure you get to get asked this a lot, but I want to know too. What's sure. your favorite? My favorite video? Like either video or the type of video. Well, it or depends. Certain role the, ones player. That I'm most, the ones that I'm most proud of are like my very immersive role plays. So anything that was like, or anything that's like a little bit funny. Because I used to do a lot of like comedy editing and like writing and stuff. So like anytime I can make it like a little bit funny is like, uh -huh. I like. Dang, I just, I just, because I was like, I am always asked this. And I'm like, what is my favorite video? And I had an answer. And now I can't remember. But like, I did. A Obviously, Shrek, you don't get asked that Shrek enough video. then. I did a Shrek video. And I was like, very proud that that turned out well. What and is that like? Hunter video. Oh, dude, that was so funny. I was like, let's go. Let's do this. I was so proud of that one. And just uh, like sometimes, just like a video just like snaps. Like it just worked. I'm like, oh, that sounded good. That looked good. Mm. Like we're in business, baby. Nice. But it, it really depends. Let's try ASMR. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just like looking through my old videos now. I don't have a freaking favorite. Linda. Linda ASMR. About I did type? a RuneScape one I really liked. Do you have a type one? Like mm, sometimes I'm super into just like a if I feel very relaxed, like filming. So it's like something that's unscripted and I have like a like a good trigger. Mm. Um and I'm just like feeling myself. I'm like, oh like this is the best. Like I love doing this. Um, otherwise, yeah, doing, doing the role plays where I'm like in costume and I'm like feeling very like immersive. Those are my favorites. It's, I don't know. It's hard. I only do <laughs> videos that I like, so it's hard to choose. I don't like force myself to do things that I don't like. Cause it's like, why? Have you It'll done like cross in the girlfriend video. experience kind of type? Do you against that or? I am personally against that because of my own preferences like i don't want to be viewed like that mm -hmm. like with my viewers so like so i won't do it i'm not against them in general at all i think if you're comfortable doing them i think that there's definitely like a like a market for that like i've watched those like sometimes you're just watching videos because you're lonely and like you want like the simulation of that interaction like i think it's very valuable but like mm. personally like i don't like making those because it feels like it feels too disingenuous because like when i'm 
interacting mm-hmm. with my viewers. Like I do feel like when I'm talking to the camera, like I do feel like I'm talking to my viewers. So it would be hard for me to be like, hi, sweetie. Like, how was your day? I'd be like, oh my God, my mom's watching this. So I'm going to clip that right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yep, that's all um, I need. I'm good. Bro, like my mom watches these. Like, I don't know. So I think I've definitely like settled into like a certain type of like how my viewers see me is probably not that way. Mm, like maybe it is, but like probably not. I mean, it's good that you can establish how your brand is like and what you want. And that's, I, yeah. I feel like that's not a pinnacle, but it's pretty high up there as a content creator to be like, yeah, I can start make things the way that I want it to be. And people actually enjoy it. And that's, that's a really good feeling. It is. It definitely yeah. is. And I, I feel like I've struggled with my brand a lot. So I'm, I'm glad that like, I feel like the default is just being yourself. It becomes a lot easier. Like if mm-hmm. you don't have to fake it, you know, like that definitely comes a lot easier. But that's a lot, that's very easy to say than to actually do because everyone, yeah. I mean, they say that on the internet a lot, right? People say, oh, just be yourself. Right. But it doesn't work if the internet doesn't like yourself. Well, it depends. Maybe it's not for you then. I think it also yeah. depends what. If like, you're lucky, if you're born, you're in. You know, yeah. It depends what, like, what, what community you're in. Like my ASMR self and my Twitch self are different, you know, mm. but they're like so, like somebody's personality is just too complex to like boil down to one thing. So like my ASMR self is still me and like very genuine, but like I'm in ASMR mode and like I'm aware that kids watch my channel. I'm aware of all these things. So I'm like, I'm much more, I'm in like a much more caring space, a much more like sleepy space, a much more like family friendly space. And like on Twitch, like that's like when you like come hang out with, with some drinks and like just like that's the type that's the gb that you'll see which is like a lot of cursing and and like talking about anime and being a pervert and stuff like that but <laughs> still me still you yeah different yeah. i mean it's like you know the difference between office job and your hangout yeah. friends mo and your you know gamer mo yeah. you know your yeah. bros nights and your gross nights you know that kind of stuff that's right yeah so mm-hmm. i'm trying to figure out that's so because i I was on a friend's stream earlier, and then they're like, oh, yeah, this is Martin. He's, uh, welcome to the stream. And then they're trying to describe what I do, and then they actually have seen different sides of me. So they're like, I don't know how to describe him. <laughs> I guess a photographer, but he also does business, but he also works in the Silicon Valley, and then he also does all this other stuff. Yeah, I think, like, I mean, as a third-party viewer, like, you're certainly, like, a photographer, but you have a personality. And that's the part, mean? because yeah. most of photographer and, like, that type of content creator they're behind the cameras that's why mm-hmm. i want to make sure that i'm in front of the camera as well and wear wear colorful pants yeah that takes course. you to so, the next level like it does so like small they stuff kinda, like that yeah you so have something that like distinguishes you besides like i then that's i'm at the point i've been doing cosplay photography not just photography photography even longer but cosplay wise i have been shooting for over 10 years for over oh a decade my God. i know i'm nowhere close to 2.5 million so I'm learning from the best. <laughs> Congrats, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But it, I have a lot of a baby cosplayer. Everybody knows who you are. You I have know? lots of experience and uh, hope knowledge to share. Because like the, the older I get, the more I teach, the more I realize how much I still don't know. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, there's so much I want to learn. So I want to offer people what I wanted when I first started. You know? Yeah, Because I, I, sure. like, you know, I feel like nobody really knows what to do back then. And I know so much now that I wish I knew. And yeah. I wish I can tell, though, tell them, tell young Martin Wong about like, hey, what you're doing? It's freaking dumb, bro. Let me show you. <laughs> let me show you the rope. You know, Let's, that's great. That's let like me the take natural, you on. The natural, you know, progression is like you have gained all the knowledge and it's like pass it on. Yeah. So that's so. Yeah, my channel is try to be more and en- entertainment. I think that's the word, right? Education mm-hmm. slash entertainment. That's the thing now. I like that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, that that now just raided me. <laughs> that was the person I was talking about. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry I'm keeping you for so long, but there's like so many interesting that's it's okay. That, was there that, anything else that you you didn't get to ask? I don't know. Like, do I even have a list? I earlier I did write down a list. Um, oh yes, this is something I do want to ask, and that's kind of related to how I am in my industry. Okay, um, I'm ready. Uh, similar. Is it harder now to get into ASMR? And if it is, then. <sighs> Like I, I was talking to Go your on. husband actually the other day too. I was like uh-huh. saying, man, if I started today, I can't even compete with myself. I'm not saying I'm great and big or whatever, but I can't, if I started now, 
it, no matter even if my stuff is so much better than my current stuff, whoever this new Martin Wong 2.0 is, if I just start it now on any social media platform, I will not able to compete with what established already. So yes. how's that like for you guys? And also, does that mean like we should not start? Or like, well, what, what what do you think? That's a really good question because that's what I say all the time too, where it's like, if I started ASMR now, I would not, like my channel would not, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'd be buried. And like, that is one of the key things is again, being at the right place at the right time. Like part of this, the skill of growing a channel is, you know, having the insight where it's like, I saw it. I was very aware of this, this niche community. And I saw that it was getting bigger. And I was like, now's the time to start a channel because you know, there isn't, there's an opening. And now there's, because it became so big and it's so accessible and so easy and beginner friendly to start your channel. Mm -hmm. There is so much, and there is so much incredible content that doesn't get the views it deserves. That doesn't get the attention it deserves just because it's so saturated. But I mean, it's very similar to like the makeup community. Mm. You know, you see these these people who are great at doing makeup. They have tens of millions of subscribers. They're millionaires. They're doing great. And you're like, I can do makeup. I can do that. But it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You didn't get there first. Like you didn't mm -hmm. like you weren't at the right place at the right time. So it like that it unfortunately or I mean, it like, totally depends how you look at it is like part of the equation mm -hmm. um, in social media where it's like they're like, oh, man, like being a TikToker is so easy. And I'm like, go ahead, like try, Do it. like, let me know how it goes. It's like, Do it, you won't. <laughs> it's a lot of like luck, insight, and then just like consistency and, and hard work, of course. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would definitely recommend that people do what makes them happy what i recommend oh my god to start an asmr channel right now because you'll be able to do it as a full-time job i think that's irresponsible to say at this point i it's very similar to what uh bo burden said in an interview you know it's like someone who win the lottery and say yeah buying a lottery totally work liquidate all your assets buy all of it you're gonna be a millionaire by doing that yeah, but no i of. think <laughs> i think it's it's a loss for all of us you know it's just we all similar to many friends that i know too we got in at the right place at the right time. So mm -hmm. yes, we work really hard, but we do, there's luck involved too, you know, like, of course. wow, this workout. I mean, there's things that I tried that didn't work out too. So we pivot. So I think we're slowly finding out what works and what doesn't. And what people say, oh, wow, you know, you got very lucky. Yes, but at the same time, we also took risk. Right. Risk that people weren't willing to take back then, you know? Right, yes. Like when, I, when I first started doing yeah. conventions, I was going to as many as I possibly can. Um, I don't charge to do shoot, and I still do it to this day. Someone asked me today, how much is it to um, you, you get the print rights for photos that I took of them at conventions? I'm like, it's completely free. It's my same policy for cosplay. Oh my God, yeah. For all this time, because that's how I get started. That's how I'm gonna give back as well, which is like, hey, if I got photos of you at a conventions and you, know, you wanna do print, my policy is that you just have to ask. Most of the times it's too scared to ask. If you ask, oh my God. even Yaya Han was surprised. The first time I did that, I was like, yeah, it's yours. Just ask for me. I'll send you the full rest instantly. No, no question asked. Wow. Yeah. So that is different though. But it's, it's interesting though. Cause like, like small channels will be like, like GV, like tell me how, like, tell me how to grow a YouTube channel. And I'm like, mm -hmm. start, start, start three <laughs> years ago. Like, yeah, it's, it's, Get a, yeah. do a time, time machine. <laughs> I'm like, man, I don't, I don't like, I don't know anymore. Like, I'm not sure. I can, I can tell you what certainly what worked for me, but it's, it's hard when people get, when people get frustrated. They're like, I'm putting in all this work. I'm doing like what you said, and my channel's still small. And I'm mm -hmm. like, bah! it is, it is. Crazy. <laughs> the yeah. internet is a lawless land, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, like, there's a lot of like this, like the smaller ASMR channels are wonderful. And and again, I think like people in chat are saying, you know they have really good fan interaction because like it's just like more manageable and people just do like some really wonderful stuff like you can find any asmr out there now just because there's so much good content and so much variety and i think it's mm -hmm. great but it's definitely 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 harder now to like get into to like get a full-time asmr channel started i would say just because of the sheer math of it all like the sheer numbers mm -hmm. there's only so much audience yeah. So like we'd have to grow you have to grow the community first, I would say. I made a few vi few videos about this too, like around this topic. It's that the problem is that we also have a lot of people coming in more and more every single day. 
So the、mm-hmm. content creator growth rate is far greater than the ratio of like consumers. Yeah, yeah. So especially for stream, you know, you can only watch one or two stream at most. Even that sound kind of silly, especially with sounds on. But like, yeah, for real. So you can only consume so much content per day. You can only consume so much content. That's that's exactly it. So I'm like very, I'm very happy and very lucky that people continue to watch my content. So like every time I'm like, thank you. I'm like, I'm serious. Thank you so much because I know there's so much good stuff out there. So, yeah. so yeah, shout out to my to my viewers because they're the best. So before you go,、um, I'm not sure if this is might work. Can you give us a little sample of what you do? <laughs> Oh my、well. god! This isn't my ASMR mic. Let me see. I know. How does this work? Well, okay. So <laughs> sometimes I'll do ASMR like humming. Uh huh. Do you know the Halo song? Is it echoing? It is echoing. Yes. <laughs> Any good time? <laughs> Oh, are you so relaxed right now, man? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I do live ASMR, people are like, "Do the Halo song." I'm like, "Fine, all right, God." You do、But. live ASMR? Is that hard? Wouldn't that like? No, it's so fun. I mean, like I'll like drop stuff all the time, or like there'll be like a dog barking or something. So like that's where it like sucks, but like it sucks for the viewer because it's like a little dangerous. Do you、um, read the chat when you do that? Because、oh, I feel、yeah. would you get distracted? I don't know. No, no, that's the best part about doing live ASMR. It's like you're getting instant feedback. If somebody's like, "Oh, I liked that. Do it again." I'm like,、oh, "Okay," and I'm like, "I'll do it again." You know, so like I'll be able to like I'll talk to people like in chat with in ASMR. I want to do I want to do ASMR live stream every like Sunday or Monday or something. So as soon as I have time, make a thing. I'll、done. join. I'll drop by.、What、Come on, that, paper towel. Yes, it is. I just like grab stuff around my.、Desk. You do. You grab your sticker, and then you put your arm, and then you grab like a little like hairpin. I saw you the whole night. I have so, like, to touch everything. Always to something. Touch all. all right. Well, that was great. Thank you so much for coming on.、Um, mm. Tell us where can we find you. You can find me here on Twitch. I'm Twitch.tv/ggb, and then my、uh, Instagram and Twitter handles are at gbofficial, or you can just look up gbasmr on YouTube. That's it. Find anything. All right. Yeah, thank you so much, Mark. So much. So no, that's great. We should hang out more. So yeah. Yes, please. Let's hang out more. All right. Thank you so much,、uh, mm. everyone. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, Bye, Chad. Thank you for coming. Yeah.